Welcome to the Smart Zone demonstration series for release 5.0. In this series, we'll be covering the new features available for the release. In this demonstration, we will be covering the directed multicast feature. With this feature, you are able to configure the AP handling of multicast traffic within the Smart Zone GUI. So let's get started. So before we show you how to configure it, let's go ahead and go over exactly what this feature performs. So understand in directed multicast, it transfers the multicast traffic into unicast packets to enhance the performances within the wireless environment. The AP does not transfer multicast to unicast traffic when the packet is destined to the Ethernet port, however. Now directed multicast has been available for CLI configuration in the past releases. However, in this release, we're extending it into the Smart Zone GUI, allowing you to provide and configure those options directly within Smart Zone itself. There are three options that have been enabled within Smart Zone to give you the ability to control multicast conversion. One is wired which enables the multicast to unicast conversion from wired clients that you have within SmartZone or that have been identified as wired clients in SmartZone. Also wireless, which enables any multicast to unicast conversion for wireless clients if they're generating that traffic, as well as network. So anything coming in from the network or from the Ethernet port, it enables the multicast to unicast conversion as well. Now these configuration points are in the zone the AP group and individual AP contexts. So therefore you will be able to override from a zone to an AP group and to the individual AP itself. So let's see how to configure this. So first we're gonna go into Smart Zone and then we're gonna go into the Access Points tab. From there, like we said, you can go into a zone and configure it from that standpoint. So let's go ahead and configure it here and take a look at it. It is in the advanced tab, so we're going to go down to the advanced options and scroll down to the bottom. And do know they were in the default behavior. So by default, all of these are going to be on. However, we can go into each one of these or any one of these and affect all the APs within this zone by checking or unchecking or enabling or disabling this particular feature. So let's go ahead and disable it from wired clients. This can also be configured from an AP group. So once we go into an AP group, we'll see the configurations there. Down in the Advanced Option tab as well, we will scroll down and we will see that we have the ability to override what we have just configured in the zone. So we're going to go into this, we're going to en enable an override, and we're going to turn that back on for the multicast traffic for the wired client. And once that's configured in the AP group, all AP members of that group will reflect the new configuration that we have just set. And lastly, it can be configured from an AP itself. So if we go down to this group, we can see we have this access point here. We can click on it, click on configure. And just like the others, we go down to the advanced options. And once we scroll down, we can see we can override these independently as well. We click on on to override and then we can turn this off based on the uh, group configuration that we have configured. Each one of these can override the other uh, from the top down. So zone configurations can be manipulated or changed based on the uh, AP groups and then furthermore within the AP itself. Now to view that configuration is going to be viewed from an AP only standpoint. So we'll click on the AP here. We can go to the configuration tab. And once we do that, we can scroll down and see what the configuration is for that specific AP. 
If we go down to the advanced configuration here, you can see that it is set up as we have configured from an AP perspective, that third option that we just configured, and we have it disabled for our U multicast traffic from network. So this concludes the demonstration of the ability to manipulate or change the directed multicast features within an AP now available in SmartZone 5.0. This feature was previously available in the CLI of the AP allowing you to configure each one of these three options. However, now it is in within the GUI allowing for a centralized location for that configuration. We encourage you to look at the other videos within this series, providing you more details of new features that are being introduced in SmartZone 5.0. Thanks for watching.